So I'll be ranking the automaton based on their design as enemies in the game. First we have the normal bot. And the cool thing about him, he does what you expect from a light enemy. He doesn't do that much of damage, and he's super easy to kill. So that will be an easy ass for him. Next we have the rocket devastator. And the cool thing about him is that he have multiple weak spots. But the thing I hate about him, he have a really long range for a medium enemy. Like he can shoot you from across the map. And that's a problem because he almost have no cooldown in his rockets. And for some reason he have infinite rockets. I know it's dumb to ask for realism in this game, but this game take itself seriously. Or realistically to be more accurate. And they can easily fix him by reducing his range. And his cooldown on shooting rockets. And giving him a limited amount of ammo. Because he already shoot lasers. And for that reason I'm giving him a D. And I'm giving his brother the normal devastator an S. Because he doesn't have any flaws. And next we have the scout strider, and there is two versions of it. First we have the normal one, and it does what you expect him to do. Like you can't shoot it from the front, but you can easily kill it from behind. But still, because of that it can become really annoying sometimes, so I'm giving it an A. And the other version of it, the ATST, it really doesn't work how you think it will work. Like you can't shoot it from the front, and you can't shoot it from the back, only by using a medium penetration bullets. And they are still hard to kill. Like the only way to kill them without using your support weapon is by the impact grenades only. And the weird thing that the developers doesn't like it when most of the players use the same weapon. Yet they are forcing the players to do that because of this enemy. Because there is only 5 good weapons that can counter him. And when you play on high difficulty, the map is literally filled with him. And the fact that he can shoot rockets that can one shot you. The good thing he can only shoot 4, but still. A medium enemy should not be able to do that. They can fix him by making his back armor into a light armor and reducing his spawn rate and reducing the damage of his rockets. And because of that I'm giving him an E. And next we have the Hulks. And I believe they might be the best enemies in the game. Because even though they are a heavy enemy, they have a huge weak spot in their back and a small deadly one in the front. Which makes them super easy to kill with any weapon you have. And they have a reasonable range and a low fire rate. And killing them is really satisfying. So that's an easy S for me. And next we have the gunships. Like when you think about a flying enemy you would think about something weak. Because most of your attention is in the ground. Where the real fight is. But for some reason they gave it more health than the Hulk itself. And they made it impossible to kill with your primary weapon. Even if you are using the right one. Because you will run out of ammo before killing one. And don't worry even with your support weapon. You still can't kill them. They can literally survive an anti-tank shot. And the only good option you have is the spear. And you can only kill one with it, before they start raining rockets and laser on you. And you cannot reload the spear anymore. And of course they have a crazy fire rate. And the fact you can only destroy their fabricator by using the hell bomb. They can fix them by making them easy to kill. Especially with your primary. And of course reducing their fire rate. And giving us more option to destroy their fabricators. Like the 500 kg. Or they can just delete them from the game. And of course I'm giving them an F. Next we have the tanks. And what I like about them is that they are simple, because they shoot once every while, and they tell you when they're gonna shoot. And I love the fact you can easily kill them using grenades. I don't see them having any flaws, so I'm giving them an S. Next we have the artillery tank. The cool thing about it, it have a limited amount of ammo. But the thing I don't like is that you can't tell when it's gonna shoot you. And the other thing, it have the ability to shoot you even if you are too close to it. I really hope they will fix that. And for that I'm giving it a B. And next we have the devastator with the shields. You would think if an enemy have more health, or a shield in this case, he will have less firepower. But for some reason he have more firepower than the Hulk. Like the moment you enter his range, you are basically dead. They can fix him by reducing his fire rate, and his range also. I'm giving him a B, because the medium enemy should not be this strong. And next we have the chainsaw guy. Even though most players find him annoying, but I really like him. Because he's one of the few bots that doesn't shoot laser and rockets at you at the same time. Which is the main problem with the automatons. Because most enemies have either laser or rockets. Or both. Most enemies have both actually. And the fact you can easily outrun him. And he doesn't do that much of damage. He only have high health, which is something reasonable. And because he doesn't have any flaws, I'm giving him an S. And last but not least, the factory strider. And you can tell from the name it's just a fabricator with a cannon on top. And the cool thing you can destroy the cannon. But my problem with it is the machine guns. I'm not sure who thought it was a good idea to give it a machine gun. Like I have never seen a game take the idea of a machine gun this seriously. Like the moment you enter its range you will be already dead. I feel they made him annoyingly powerful. Like it's not fun fighting him. They can fix him by removing the machine guns and giving him a small cannon. 
And because of the machine guns, I'm giving him a B.